What's up, Wayne Baron? Here with Dark Effects Studios, and we are inside of IIS 10. And this can be done in basically any version of IIS that supports the server side debugging feature. So, what I'm referring to is something that's really annoying whenever you reload your page if you have just in time debugger installed, which I've got it disabled inside of Visual Studio. However, if it's enabled inside of IIS, then you will continue to receive this error. So we want to choose no, cancel debugging. We're going to come over here to IIS. And then inside of our default web page, we want to open up IIS and then click on debugging properties and come down to enable server-side debugging. If you've set this to true, like I accidentally did, you want to change this to false. Then click on apply and then come down here and then reload the page. And now you no longer have to worry about having that debugger pop up. Wayne Baron here with Dark Effects Studios. Y'all have a good one now. Bye-bye.